Alright guys, so a lot of people were asking me how I overclocked my controller for Modern Warfare 2, for Vanguard, for whatever season, and a lot of my friends actually still didn't know how to do it, so I thought I'd make a tutorial on it, so let's hop right into it. Alright, first step, click that link down in the description, go to this website, check it out, I promise it's not a virus, not a hack, whatever the f*** you want to call it nowadays. If you don't believe me, Shotzi has a video on the same exact thing, if you want to go look at that one, then you're going to want to click on HIDUSBF.zip. You're gonna click this one, not any of these, just this one. Anyways, then you're gonna click this download button right here and it should start downloading it down the bottom left. And you're gonna wanna drag this onto your desktop. Now, I went ahead and made another folder for this, so I'd recommend you do that too, name it whatever, I named my controller. Next step, open up your zip file and then extract it to that folder that you made. And once you have done that, you're gonna open up your folder and then go click driver, click setup.exe, let that open up, and then you're on the app. It's worth mentioning that I have a scuff controller, so if you were on a scuff controller, you're not going to see as big of a difference as people on like just regular PS4 controllers or Xbox One controllers, because scuffs come pretty overclocked as it is, so you don't really have to worry about that too much, but you can still see a difference if you were on a scuff. Also, you're going to want to have your controller wired, because if you don't, it's not going to work. Don't use Bluetooth ever in video games if you're trying to be competitive in any form or fashion. So what you're going to want to do is click the drop down right here, click all. Do some looking around, try to figure out which one's your controller, which one's not. Uh, the easy way to figure this out is to unplug your controller real quickly. And you'll see it kind of disappeared. And once I plug it back in, it should pop back up on the screen. Yep, there it goes. So now I know that this one is my controller. Basically, what you want to do is highlight the name of your controller like this. Then you want to click install service. Let that install. You might have a pop-up come up. I don't have a pop-up for me, but you're going to click yes when that pops up. And then while this is still highlighted, you're going to click default, click a thousand, and then click install service. And then one more time, you're going to click filter on device. Keep in mind, this has to be highlighted and click install service. Like I said, if there's any pop-ups in that process, just click yes, just follow through them. And the way to know if you've done this right is if you look at your USB device and it says yes, 1000, and then one right here and then you should be good to go, and your controller should be overclocked. Whenever I did this personally, I was doing inputs faster, jumping, diving, sliding, whatever, way, way faster than I was before. I promise you this helps out. And if this did help you out, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It really, really helps me out. It really, really make my day. And the like button helps as well. Just make sure that people can see this tutorial as well. Share it with your friends, share it with your squad. Make sure they're ready to go whenever they play with you. They're playing the same level as you. Anyways, guys, it's been more Whiplash, and I'll see you guys later. Deuces!